So sometimes I've run into the roadblock of scientific exploration. I recently made a pinhead video where I experimented with Hex Face the Darkness with a pinhead build where I could effectively prevent the survivors from doing my box, doing totems, healing themselves. It was glorious. And a lot of people messaged a lot of feedback in the comment section of that video. This build is so evil. It's so good on pinhead. Why don't you try it on pig? And I thought to myself, hey, that isn't actually that bad of an idea. If I could prevent survivors from healing, doing my box, and doing totems, why can't I stop survivors from getting their head trap off? That's brilliant! So I immediately scooped up that suggestion, I created a build, slapped everything all together, and I was in. That was until I ran into some problems. But first off, this is the strategy that you guys envisioned put into reality. We interrupt her. Okay, okay, she screamed one time, all right? She's gonna scream in 25 seconds. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, go, go, go! Okay, okay, and then we hide, we hide again. So we reset the face the darkness timer. And she's gonna go search this again. Next time she's going to, she's gonna, she's gonna search the box. Interrupt it again. Oh my God, no! Okay, and too bad. Oh crap, the pig is here, go, go, go! Okay, and now, now, now we reset the trap again. I create a build from the ground up fueled by a vision. We want to try to interrupt the survivor at the box as many times as possible so that they can never get the box off. When this hex is active, all survivors outside your terrorists will scream intermittently. The devotion to see my plan in motion. <laughs> Face the darkness. Hold on, get back here. There we go. And hook her. Okay, head trap activated. Okay, 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 okay. This rendition was set up off a foundation based around the infamous Face the Darkness Thrill of the Hunt combo. With Thrill of the Hunt slowing down totem cleanse times to a halting 28 seconds, Face the Darkness perfectly interrupted these pesky bone destroyers every 25, guaranteeing interruptions for desperate survivors trying to take their head traps off. So what we want to do, we want to kill Claudette. And we're going to kill Claudette due to a, 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 a crap load of screaming. As long as she's not in her tardius, then she'll scream. She got it off on the first try? Yeah. What? Okay, okay, okay. We got another trap. We got another trap. Freaking <laughs> cock simulator. They got the thrill to hunt. There's the face of the darkness. This person's at the box over here. Let's kick them off of it. Okay. Now we're gonna get rid of the Teradius, and then they're gonna go, wait, Face of Darkness is deactivated. I messed up. <laughs> oh. oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> the big trap timer ran out during the match. The wearer was eliminated. My deadly plan involved first trapping a survivor and waiting for the timer to activate. Injure another survivor, light face the darkness. The trapped survivor uncontrollably starts screaming, and with the help of Thrill of the Hunt, my hex totems are uncleansable. It's impossible to take the head trap off, the timer runs out, and the target neutralized. Now, that's pretty sweet, but I think we could do better. I think, I think we could do better. We throw on Sloppy Butcher. What about any of the other new perks? Stridor, Terminus. It's Terminus. Oh, ha, ha, ha. It was an idea and a series of fragmented parts horribly put together. Without the screams of Face the Darkness, Thrill the Hunt was ripe for the taking. One heal, and Face the Darkness deactivates. But with Terminus, injured survivors become broken when the last generator is powered. With an inability to heal, cleansing Face the Darkness was off the table. Dude, this might be a legit build. And then we run Terminus so that they can't heal, and they can't get rid of Face the Darkness in Endgame, along with No Way Out. This is the Sadako Pig build. Theoretically, by interrupting their searches over and over and over and over again, they should all just keep dying. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The first step. Ah, builds OP. Are you watching the stream? Okay, all right. Okay, you know, I, I, that's it. Someone needs to die. Someone needs to die. You see how strong this build is? We load into the game and they instantly die. Dude, it looks like Pig needs a nerf. Yeah, just freaking get out of here, please. There you go. Good job. 
Oh, please, no tear. It's a waste of good suffering. Okay. <laughs> we need to maximize the pain. We need to maximize the value. <laughs> Step one, activate face the darkness. How do we do that? Someone needs to get slapped in the face. Someone needs to get slapped. Ugh. Okay. Okay, you know what? We're still gonna try to make it work. Still gonna try to make it work. I'll make this work. But that, that was unfortunate. The second most important step is to get a head trap on somebody. I down tap, place the trap on his head, and just as things were looking up, Okay, face of darkness. Booners are the bane of our existence at the moment. Want active head traps. Can you stop booning? This is so gimmicky. I don't know if we can get it out. This is not what I signed up for. I signed up for an experience. I signed up for head pops. I wanted to play Condemn Zadigo on the pig. Dreams destroyed. You see, the pinhead build, we stare at people and then we watch them suffer. This pig build, we're the one feeling the pain. These series of failures with the pig were not stopping points for me. These were more like stepping stones. In a way, it taught me what not to do and what I should change with the build I was running. The destruction of my hex totems too early is where everything practically fell apart. And although preventing healing with Terminus was great, what was the point of running it when it didn't even matter in the first place? So ultimately, I decided to start running Hex Undying. Once a Hex Totem is blessed or cleansed, it's transferred over to the Undying Totem. I wanted to make sure I had a sufficient amount of time to make everything work. And if I needed to run Hex Undying, that is precisely what I was going to do. Face the darkness. Oh! Okay. Fangman, you will be the victim. You'll be the victim. We're gonna place you on a hook. And one of your teammates is going to activate one of the generators. Okay, Meg doesn't heal. We want her to do this gen. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We're gonna let her do the gen. Okay, 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 okay. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing, here's the thing. They're gonna scream intermittently every 25 seconds. We're gonna kick Fang off of this box. We interrupt her. Okay, okay, she screamed one time, all right? She screamed one time. Now, we wanna interrupt her again, because she's gonna scream in 25 seconds. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, go, go, go. Okay, 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 and then we hide, we hide again, okay? So we reset the face the darkness timer, okay? And she's gonna go search this again. Next time she's going to she's gonna she's gonna search the box. And since Meg isn't healed yet, he's gonna get interrupted again. Oh my god, no! The interruption! And too bad. Like, oh crap, the pig is here, the pig is here, go, go, go. Alright, and now, now it's all reset. And essentially, Fang is gonna to go to the next box all the way over there. I was like, oh no, I got interrupted again. And we have Undying. So that wasn't even face the darkness. Oh my god. <laughs> Fang is gonna go to her next box. She's gonna scream again. Oh, I mean, she's dead. That was, that was pretty sweet. I proceeded to sacrifice the rest of the survivors and felt pretty satisfied. This build wasn't perfect by any means because if I wasn't fast enough, my totems were vulnerable to be cleansed. And Terminus was practically dead weight in my build due to its niche synergy with the face of the darkness. It only activated an endgame. But to be honest, these imperfections didn't really matter to me. Things were good, and I finally achieved the very thing that I saw after. I was happy with my accomplishment. That was until someone in my Twitch chat suggested I try doing things a little differently. <laughs> what? How gonna... Forced penance, maybe? Forced penance is only when, like, they take protection hits. Protection hits? work while unhooking hits? Wait a second. So you're telling me, Leozio, you're telling me to down somebody, hook them, and then camp to get a forced penance truck? You're telling me to camp the survivor? <laughs> uh...
Yes. I think that's the play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the play. Okay, okay. All right. We down the first guy, slap a head trap on, put them on the hook. And we go in front of their hook. We face camp them. As soon as they get the unhook, we activate face the darkness with forced penance. And since they are going to be broken for 80 seconds, it's 80 seconds of forced penance value, which also means 80 seconds of face the darkness value, which means 80 seconds of guaranteed pain. <laughs> ah, yes, I see. I see. So this is all part of the master plan. 80 seconds of guaranteed pain. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And the thing is, we only let them unhook when they pop a generator. We camp the guy in the hook. We come out of nowhere, kick them off the hook if they haven't popped a gen. The prerequisite is to give me the juice. If they don't give the juice, there's no deal. Very exciting. It's very exciting. Okay, okay, okay. The first step to all the madness is the first down. Oh, okay, huge, absolutely huge first step. We give her a party hat and then we take her to the birthday party. After. Oh, it's fine, it's undying. After we, 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 we start up the birthday party, we need to wait for a generator to be complete. That's the only way the birthday party can begin. Okay? We got the... No, no, no. Oh my god. You know what? We don't... We can't start this. We can't start the party. <laughs> Stop missing skill checks. Be a friend over here. They're working hard. Okay? Now, all the good stuff is happening. All the good stuff is happening. Force penance is still active. All that's left is we need somebody to pick up Nancy. Okay, Nancy has been picked up. She's going to make her way to a box all the way over here. Oh, oh, okay, that's the first scream, okay? That's the first scream. Oh, what a pity. What a pity. Oh my god, the pig's coming. The pig, oh my god. Okay, you know what? You know, what? you know, what freaking. I don't think we can do it with Nancy. Okay, you're going to hell. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I quickly realized Nancy had given up on the will of survival. Without a sense of danger hindering her searches, my master plan strategy was rendered impossible. So I proceeded to try setting up a secondary forced penance proc. And this is part of the contract. I don't know why any of you guys. Why aren't you guys doing a generator right now? With everything that came with Nancy's abrupt party hat pop, everyone in the match began to look at Yui for the reason that she was someone who had a head trap on. The, the, our build is not working because the survivors are refusing to do generators. <laughs> How is this possible? My evil plan no longer had the leverage to keep it afloat. The only way to make this work was if the survivors wanted to survive. They don't even know how to do the only thing that can help them escape. Ah! Amanda is sick of it. The reasons for the build not working are just kind of unreasonable. The totem, our throw the hunt gets cleansed and then our face of the darkness gets cleansed. Okay, we try on terminus, terminus not working out. Okay, we cut that, run force pendant. And then, and then we run a build at foolproof. There is no way it doesn't work as long as they try to want to leave. Oh, I know I said one more. I just think this is severely inconsistent. We gotta try it again. We gotta try that one more time. We gotta do it again. This is the story of how I suffered in Dead by Daylight. Yeah, if I were to turn this into a video, if we get like one good game, okay, that's that's around the vibe that the video would be around. <laughs> the video would just scream masochism. <laughs> masochism. Okay, the shattered square. One more try. <laughs> we all know what we need to do, okay? We all know what needs to be done. Be a pro gamer. Okay? There we go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, and they're doing the gen too. Huge. Absolutely huge. 
Now we're gonna take them away, away, far, far away to a far away place. Now we're gonna hook her. Foolproof. Her head trap is activated, and now all we need to do is get a forced penance proc. I know this. This is not going to be a, a protection hit. I'm lucky. Okay, that's fine though. He's self caring. She's 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 self caring. She's self caring. What the hell is she doing? I, you're gonna be the face of darkness target. What in DC? I think I give up. <laughs> I think I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. It does not. I give up. I give up. I have tried my best to make it work on the pig, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll take the five minute DC penalty. I'll take the five minute. I, 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 I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've, I've had enough, dude. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Okay. Wait. We're gonna try again. We gotta try it again. We gotta try again. We gotta try again. We gotta try again. Oh. Dude, it has so much potential. It's just like. I've raised, I've raised this child for 15 years. I put goddamn food on the table. I work in the goddamn factory. You know what this kid's doing? He's a tier three Pokemon sub and he's addicted to OnlyFans. Oh, 15 goddamn years. And this is how you repay me. Oh, oh. Okay, I got it. we have to get it off one time. Oh my God. Ah. You gotta do it one time. Here's 10 cents now, claim your dailies. Okay. We did this build on Pinhead. Why is it so hard to do it on the pig? Okay. Here's 11 cents now, claim your dailies. Shush. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm going through something at the moment. Thanks for the 10 bits. Oh. Okay. Oh, huge, 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 huge. What party nice. hat? Okay, good. Very good. Now, I need you guys to do a generator. There we go. Okay. The party hat is now activated. Now that the party hat has been activated, we need to get a protection hit. That's on time. Here they come. Okay, go, 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 go. Force penance. Okay, okay, okay. Her head trap is activated. And now, with face the darkness and force penance combined. All right. All right, Kate screamed. He pushed her off. Okay. Now, as we're crouching, they only scream when not in our terror radius. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm working. I'm working here. Leave me alone. Working. Hello, buddy. Oh no, not the scream. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh my god, the pain. Do you do you understand what's going on? I'm using your friends against you. They are no longer your teammates anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is now a 2v1 endeavor. Oh no, what a pity. No, not the screen. No, no, I'm not letting you heal. I'm not letting you heal. I will make you work for me. Okay, have fun, Kate. Do you see how she's losing her mind? Oh my. Okay, that's the totem. That's the totem. Oh. Hey, 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 we did it. 
<laughs> On Coconut, you are going to make them Murph Pig again. You know what? You know what? He deserves it. I just wanted to see if you could do it multiple times in one match. How long were you trying to make it work? Probably like two to three hours. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh. Now we're just gonna murder everybody. Stop. Okay, sorry. Um, I had to. I, I, I just, I needed to. Three. Let's go. It's dead. Not cool. The first kill wasn't deserved. You don't understand. He needed to die. I had to. They made me do it. He needed to go. He needed to go. Okay. <laughs> Failure is the basis of my entire journey. An outside eye would probably have predicted a catastrophic tragedy. But in this case, my story was about perseverance, an idea and a vision, a drive to succeed, a series of hurdles standing in my path. I almost gave up, but I didn't stop. I persevered until my vision for innovation was seen through. If you guys liked the video, feel free to leave a like or a sub, and I hope you guys enjoyed my little Dead by Daylight adventure about a story where I went through a brutal tale trying to create one of the most evil pig builds in Dead by Daylight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.